Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back and yes, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to beat Domination Mode and do it easily and not have to repeat games because you didn't get enough points. I've made another couple videos on this, but this is going to be the final video I actually do on this subject. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully it makes sure you guys are beating games on the first try every single time, even once you get up to these top tier teams like I'm in now, which is, this is the last final game against the All-Stars. But uh, as you can see, this time, we didn't play that great. As you can see, second chance points, they were all right, but we really didn't take that many post moves. We didn't shoot well from three-point land. We shot 42%. That's really not what you want to be doing in domination mode. And we only shot 75% from the free throw line. That's not that good. That won't get it done. And uh, yeah, it didn't get it done this time. As you guys can see, we beat them by a good amount, but yeah. Because we didn't focus on those areas, we didn't get enough post scores, we did not get the 800 plus that we needed for this game. I was I was slacking, I wasn't really paying attention. So this next game, I, I went out and I, I kind of figured this out, and I didn't mention this in my last video, which is why I wanted to make another one, is this is a great way to get some free points. Just hit your free throws, and then this right here, which I'm going to show you guys, I'm doing it right now, try and get one three point shot to fall early on out the gate. If you can do that, that's a guaranteed 75 points. I'm not sure why they don't use a 100-point scale for 3-point field goal percentage, but they use 75 points for that. I don't know, maybe just to make sure it's not overpowered. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to just knock down one right out the gate. As you guys can see, I managed to do that. Just get that green release. Find a 3-point shooter who you like, someone who you know you can knock it down. Take one, knock one down. Whether you got to run a play or do what I did, nice little way to create some space of the dribble. And once you do that... Then, continue to focus on the things I've told you about. The post move scores, the second chance points, and there's also a badge that you can put on your big men where as soon as they grab the offensive rebound, they're going to go up with it and they'll have a higher percentage to score and finish it. You want to put that on your guys. I'm pretty sure I have that on Anthony Davis and Demarcus Cousins. And Demarcus Cousins, I'm going to say this right now, very cheap player, very, very good at rebounding. You want to get him for your team. Absolute beast on the boards. He can grab the ball. He can put it back up right after for second chance points, which are huge, as I've said. Another way you can also get some more points is fast breaks. I've said this before, but I wanted to make sure I really broke it down just quickly in a video and showed you guys that, hey, I understand not being able to get like 800 sometimes because it even happens to me, and it happened a couple of times. Now, I've obviously beaten this for a while now, but yeah, everybody's just been asking me, you know, can you at least put out one more video on this? One more tip video. You guys will see I am killing Kevin Durant in the post. Just going to him every single time. Now you can find cheaper players than Kevin Durant and Steph Curry to hit these shots and to make sure you win this game. As I said, Demarcus Cousins is running for pretty cheap usually. Great rebounder. You can get guys like him, Al Horford, Chris Bosh, Dirk. They run for cheap and you can abuse the post fadeaways and stuff like that. Paul Millsap's another guy. And you can literally score so many points with them and make sure you easily get this done against this pretty stacked lineup. You see, we killed them, and uh, yeah, we do manage to get the point total in this one, which was nice because I, did, I didn't like having to play it again. I was pretty frustrated. I had to play a few of the games over again. I think I had to play the Spurs as well over again. I was like two points shy. I, I had a really hard time rebounding against them, and that's one of the things you're going to face once you get to these top-tier teams is they're just better at rebounding. I mean, this all-star squad's got Dwight Howard, and the computer is really good at offensive and defensive rebounding. So sometimes you want to actually manually get in the post and box out and get the rebounds. That's one thing, manual rebounding. I never thought I'd do that on defense, but yes, if, like once the game's a blowout like this, you want to make sure you're the one grabbing the rebounds. Like you, There's no reason for you to be playing on-ball defense while you're up by, you know, 30 points or 20 points. It's really not that hard to beat these teams. And you're going to see, I'm trying to kind of let them score right here so I can keep just getting some more points just in case. Because sometimes I feel like I do kind of get like ripped out of some empty. I don't know how. It just seems like I did better than that. It's like, what? I only got like 800. I feel like this was like 900 or even 1,000 points. But yeah, we beat them by almost 20 points right here. Pretty solid performance. And we finally managed to actually finish this last game. It took us, as I said, it took us two tries, but... Yeah, hopefully these tips help you guys out. I know everybody's been asking me, yo, hit me with some more tips. I've gotten like a thousand plus in the game. I've gotten like, I think 1100 one time, which is probably the highest I've seen. And yeah, this time we get 840. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to write home about, but uh, it's still good enough. You know, it gets the job done. It gets us that. And as you can see, post move scores 110 and then 60 off second chance points. Those are really, really critical. Fast break is also pretty big, but... We really didn't do too much in that area in this game. 
and you can do those with any players it really doesn't have to be gold players but hey it just happens i had them might as well use them and as i've said before with domination i don't know if you paid attention to the last video you don't have to use bronze players you can use gold like there's no point deduction or anything like that or you don't get more points for using bronze that's how it was last year it's not like that i didn't like that at all i thought it was whack and i, I like this better it's a lot better and as you can see one for one eight for eight we hit all our free throws we hit all our things and we shot great from the field and if you do those combined with the other stuff i've told you you're gonna have no problem with domination you're gonna breeze through all these really easily and uh yeah you should have no problem with this but i hope this second tip video helped out and uh yeah be sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy i probably won't do any more videos on domination mode but uh yeah there's the last one we beat it and we got three stars but Hope you guys did enjoy as always, and uh, be sure to leave that like rating and uh, let me know. Of course, it was a problem at the end. <laughs>